folks, Sam here with Sam Wood Outdoors. Hope you guys have been liking the vlogs. It's time for another one. Uh, it's been a long night here, or a long day, and it's going to be about half of a long night here for me on uh, hauling water. Um, and I wanted to get a chance to do this. I'm inside here a little bit. You probably hear the wind rattling a little bit and truck running, but hey, man, sometimes we got to do what we got to do. So uh, this one's more on a personal note, this vlog. There's been a lot of people asking me, uh, they're interested in what's my favorite thing to do. You know, is it trapping? Is it fishing? Is it hunting? Is it, uh, you, know, you know, stuff like that? Or, and then they say, well, what's your favorite time of the year? Or what is your favorite thing to trap? Or your favorite thing to fish and all that. Let me sum this up for you. My life is all about seasons. And it's not spring, summer, winter, and fall. That's for damn sure. I'll tell you right now, this is the time of the year that I hate. I, I'm okay with working my ass off right now because it's uh, things are froze up. It's mid-March. Weather's changing. It's nice one day, shitty the next. It's just you can't plan nothing. So this is my worst time of the year. I don't care if I'm working. Uh, I'm cool with that. But uh, any other time of the year, I'm ready to go. You know, we got the springs coming. We got spring beaver trapping. We got the, the walleye runs coming. We just got a bunch of fishing to do, bow fishing starting. You know, late spring is, uh, we got the, the carp spawn, the buffalo spawn, um, suckers will be spawning, uh, white bass will be running. Um, early summer, again, the carp are spawning. It's starting to get thick. You know, I'm out there uh, looking for mushrooms. I, I just got a lot of stuff going on. All summer long, I chase fish. I go cat fishing. I like to take little fishing trips with the wife. Um, then after that, I get to uh, the fall. And the fall is really exciting because I get to get ready for trapping season. Then I got archery bow, uh, fall turkey, uh, just a lot of stuff going on in the fall. The starlings are leaving the nest. I got a lot of shooting in the early part of the fall for them. It's still warm enough. I can stay out all night and shoot rats. So I just try to consume myself with uh, the being outdoors and, and sometimes it gets overwhelming I, I'll give you that I just want to sit my ass home and do nothing but uh, if I stay motivated and I stay focused there's just a whole lot to do especially if you get involved with invasive species because the seasons are so uh, wide open and year-round and, and stuff like that so that's one of the reasons why I chase starlings and carp and stuff like that is I can get the get into it year round and have a great time um so that's pretty much i don't have a favorite so that i just it just depends on the time of the year and what i got going on and where i'm at uh the next thing is a lot of guys say god man you are so lucky to be done all the stuff you've done i ain't lucky man i just take advantage of every opportunity and then i and then i scrimp it together um you know you can go on a lot of these great trips that I do, bow fishing, hunting, and stuff like that. If you learn to just sleep in your truck or camp out or you know sleep under the stars, kind of plan ahead a little bit, do some research. I don't know why guys focus so much on doing a, a do-it-yourself elk hunt, and yet they won't focus on a do-it-yourself bow fishing trip or do-it-yourself hog hunt or stuff like that. Man, I've traveled all over. I've been, I've shot fish in the Pacific Ocean. I've shot fish in the Atlantic Ocean. I've shot fish in the Gulf of Mexico and damn, sure, damn near everywhere in between. I've hunted hogs in Texas, Louisiana, Alabama, uh, Florida, um, Mississippi. Uh, I've hunted alligators in Florida. I've hunted alligators in Mississippi. Um, so, you know, you just got to take advantage of everything that's given to you. Uh, you know, if you got kids, I'll tell you this, I got to go on a lot of trips because I took my kids with me. You know, they're very seldom will your wife say no if you say you're taking the kids for 10 days and going bow fishing or you're taking the kids for 10 days and go hunting or something like that. And that just passes on a bunch of the stuff that you do. You get to spend a super, super quality time with your kids. And uh, it's, it's pretty much priceless, man. The experience you'll have, the experience they'll have. You know, I, I, Corey's still got a bigger alligator guard than me. Shot him when he was 12 years old, seven foot two. You know, so there, there's just things like that, that it just, and that's what makes this outdoor lifestyle all worth living. And if you guys just kind of watch the stuff that I do and see how I do it and ask questions, and I'll tell you, man, you go down to Kentucky Lake and camp out and you'll have some great bow fishing. You know, you can go to Texas, and there's so much public land out there. You know, that Robertson, or Pittman-Robertson Act, paying for all that land, you guys gotta start using it. 
So that's some of the questions a lot of people have been asking and, and, and you know we figured we'd get them out of the way and just take a night off of the ranting and the raving and the educating and just uh, ask some answer some of the personal questions you guys have about me but uh, hey man I really appreciate you guys following stay tuned we got a lot more going on.